Hello, lovely people. I want to welcome you all to CAF University. My name is Ivan Skakose member. I'll be taking you through the course, assess course, physics. Uh, the course code is KNUR 105, 105. And I welcome you all on this journey with me. We'll start with the course outline. We'll be looking at mechanics. Then we'll look at electricity, electricity. Okay, basically because of the time we're looking at these two major ones. Now we we'll have mid semester examination for your continuous assessment and the end of semester examination, actually 3070, and total will be 100%. Now we start with mechanics. What is mechanics? Mechanics is a branch of physical science that deal with the study of body emotion or at rest. So basically, you are you are dealing with body that is what moving or body that is what stationary and uh, a concept of it in medicine is biophysics, where you are now applying physics in biology, applying physics in biology. And in fact, physics is everywhere. Physics is everywhere. If you want to give injection, it's physics. You have to apply a force to the syringe before the fluid in the syringe can flow. So everywhere is physics. You are, you are, you are, you are pushing a wheelchair, you are pushing a patient, it's physics. So a basic understanding of biophysics is very important in your field as a as a nurse. Okay, so you have to take this course very, very important. Some people ask you what's the essence of the course we are doing, but physics is everywhere. If you are eating, uh, you have to apply a force to be able to eat. In our everyday life, we are applying forces. So mechanics is part of us and you need to understand mechanics, okay? Now, mechanics is divided into two. We have the statics and we have dynamics. So, static have to do with the body at rest when the body is not moving. The body is stationary. You are dealing with statics. And the dynamics is when the body is moving. Okay, you are dealing with dynamic analysis of it. So, we go to some terminologies in mechanics. Some terminologies in mechanics. So, we start. We start with the first technology, which is length. What is length? Length is used to specify the position of your point in space. Okay, the position of your point in space is what? It's length. Length is used to specify the position of a point, a point in space. And now, uh, as part of the vital signs you take, you take the height of a patient, which is the length. So. You want to specify the height of a patient and technically you are taking the length of the patient. Now we go to the second point that we'll be looking at, which is time. What is time? Time is used, is used to specify the duration of an event. We want to specify the duration of an event is time. Time is used to specify the duration of an event. So a patient is, is to take a drug for eight hours intervals okay so de definitely you have to check the time and monitor the time so you give a patient a drug at 8 a.m in the morning and it's a it's a, it's a it's an eight hour interval so it means that the following eight hour you need to administer the the drug so you need to make sure you are keeping track you are keeping track of the time and time time is used to specify the duration of what an event and time is measured in what second okay one second okay second so you use second to measure time so the nurses you have this breast watches okay the breast watches there uh, okay to to check time okay so take note then we have mass. What is mass? You need to understand what mass is. Okay. You need to understand what mass is. Now, we all have, uh, we are all matter. Matter is anything that has mass and occupy space. So every matter will, will have what? A mass. Okay. Every matter will have what? A mass. So what is mass? Mass is the quantity of matter contained in what a substance the quantity of matter contained in a substance is what mass okay how much mass is in that substance a mass is measured in kilogram in kilogram and as part of the vital signs you have to check, check the mass 
technically it's mass but the nurses they call it weight okay you check the weight of the patient but it's not the weight you are checking you are checking the mass the mass of the patient the unit is in in kilogram but there is a, a close association between mass and weight because to get the weight you need to multiply the mass by times the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 and 9.81 uh, meter per second square that will give you the the, the 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 weight okay weight in newton weight in newton so we go to the next one which is force okay which is force what is force what is force force is generally a pull or a push a pull or a push by one body on another a pull or push by one body on what another is what is force the next one we go to the newton laws of motion newton laws of motion now newton has three laws of motion the first law the second law and the third law what does the first law says the first law says that a body a particle generally at rest or moving in a straight line with constant velocity will remain in this state provided the particle is not subjected to an external or unbalanced forces okay you can also define the first law as a body will continue to remain at a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line until an external force acts on the body for the body to act otherwise and this law is quite simple to understand basically it's saying that if you have a bottle of water and the bottle of water is at rest okay this bottle of water is at rest okay now this bottle of water resting on the table will continue to be on the table for 100 years it will still be there until somebody moves it so whenever you pick a bottle of water what have you done you have you've applied a force so until a force is applied the bottle of water will remain on the table okay the bottle of water will remain on the table let's say you want to give a patient an injection and you have a strange until you pick the the the, the medicine okay from the fridge or wherever you you pick the medicine the medicine will continue to be there at state of rest until an external force is what is applied your phone is on the table your phone will continue it will continue to be there if no force is applied on the on the phone for it to change your phone will continuously be there until an external force is what is applied so and the applications of newton first law okay the applications of newton first law okay applications of newton first law and one of the application is that number one if a patient is in a wheelchair okay you don't suddenly move the patient okay you don't suddenly move the patient if you suddenly move the patient what will happen is that if the person is having a neck okay problem okay the neck will move backwards okay the neck will move backwards because you suddenly move the wheelchair number two if you suddenly come to a stop okay you are your patient is in a wheelchair you're moving the pain you suddenly come to a stop what will happen the patient will fall the patient will fall it's an application of newton first law okay application of newton first law then we go to the second law of newton newton second law and what does the second law say? The second law says that the rate of change in momentum is directly proportional to the applied force and it takes place in the direction of the force. The rate of change in momentum. 
So momentum is changing with time. Momentum is changing with time. What is momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. Mass times velocity. And momentum uh, is very simple to understand. Momentum. Uh, I usually give insight this example. Sometimes when you watch this Chinese movie, uh, a blue man or a killer can use this normal cars we use you know normal cars to kill somebody why is this cars uh, lightweight it's like a paper very lightweight but because the person is able to throw the car at a very high velocity when the velocity is very high momentum is very high so the impact can be very catastrophic okay and a typical example to understand momentum is uh, a bullet when i throw a bullet right now you can catch a bullet all right you can easily cut the bullet if i just throw it from my hands but when i release the bullet from the barrel of a gun you can't catch it why because within the gun there are springs in the gun okay there are springs in the gun so when you fire the bullet from the gun the bullet moves with a very high velocity and is able to cause a great impact that is momentum so mass times velocity and the second law saying that the rate of change in momentum so momentum is changing with time momentum is changing with time so we have the final momentum and we have what initial momentum and it's changing with time so the rate of change of momentum is only proportional to the force applied and it takes place in the direction of the force it means that force is equal to it means that force is equal to mv minus mu all over t force is equal to force is, is equal to so it means that force is equal to mv that is a final momentum minus mu which is initial momentum all over t all over time okay now if you do the mathematics of this you are going to have force being equal to force being equal to the mass times the acceleration okay mass times acceleration so from the second law of motion okay we're able to get the formula force is equal to mass times acceleration now we go to the newton third law what does the third law say the third law says that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction now the application of newton third law the applications of newton third law so for your assignment look for an application of newton third law some application of newton third law some application of newton the law now we go to weight of a body weight of a body what is weight the gravitational attraction of the earth on a body is known as the weight of the body and this force is always directed downwards towards the center of the earth is always present whether the body is at rest or in motion so whether the body is moving or is at rest the weight of the body is always present now from newton second law okay weight is equal to mass times gravity okay now the the first law we, we, we find out that force is equal to mass times acceleration okay acceleration of the body acceleration but weight is equal to mass times the gravitational pull of the body or the gravitational force okay the gravitational force so weight is equal to mass times g mass times g where g is the gravitational force okay 
and technically the gravitational force is 9.81 meter per second square 9.81 meter per second square okay 9.81 meter per second square okay so this is what the g 9.81 meter per second square so please take notes 9.81 meter per second squared okay 9.81 meter per second squared so usually uh, when you go to the hospital you are asked to go and check for the mass okay you stand on the on the balance beam balance what is measured is the mass okay now when you measure the mass of the patient in kilogram multiplied by the gravity okay 9.81 what you are going to get is what the weight okay and weight is a force okay so weight is measured in newton in newton weight is measured in newton okay so we go to some unit of measurement all right now uh, when you go to the hospital especially when you are taking vital signs uh, you are taking the temperature using the the thermometer you are taking the the pressure uh, now we have the the the, the, the digital instrument for taking the pressure of the body uh, or you can use a face go manometer or you are checking for the height or you are checking for the the the, the mass okay now you have to each quantity has its own unit okay each quantity has its own unit now if you measure weight or the mass and you write let's say 20 s 20 s when a doctor comes and see 20 s the doctor is going to interpret what you've written as time the time the patient came or something something like that okay so you need to assign the right unit to the measurement you will take okay right unit to the measurement you take you are taking temperature and you're going to write let's say 38 kilogram or 37 kilogram you, are, you confuse everybody you confuse the doctors you confuse everybody so the unit is very important now you realize that a lot of Ghanaian we are moving, traveling, a lot of medical practitioners are moving outside the country, going to the going to America, going to UK and other places. Now, when you find yourself in a place where they are not using the SI unit, okay, because we are used to the mass, we are used to uh, measuring the height in meters, uh, measuring uh, the time in, in seconds, but in certain direction they, they use a different system so you must understand all those kind of what system okay all those kind of system so in the u.s you're going to meet instead of the mass they write the slag instead of meters or the length the length do you write foot so you have to understand that in it's a different uh unit of measurement they are what they are using okay so let's go to force what is a force a force is a push or a pull on a body a force is a push or a pull on a body note that from newton uh first law we define that a body will continue to remain at a state of rest or uniform motion until an external force is applied on the body for the body to act otherwise now what tends to change the state of the body is the force so you can also define a force as that which tends to change the state of what a body okay that which tends to change the state of a body is a force that which tends to change the state of a body is what a force now the unit of force is newton you measure force in newton force is measured in newton what are some of the effects of force on a body 
Number one, it causes object to move. A force causes object to, to move. Okay. Two, it stops object when in motion. It stops object when in motion. Three, it changes the direction of moving objects. A force changes the direction of a moving object. Five, a force changes the shape of objects. A force changes the shape of objects. Then the next one, it changes the speed of a moving object. It changes the speed of a moving object. Okay, changes the speed of a moving object. Now, if you want to uh, draw medicine into a strange, okay, a strange, you need to apply a force, okay, so you have a strange, you have a drug, you need to apply a force, you need to pull it, as you pull, you see that the drug will flow, without applying the force, there will be no flow of what, the drug, okay, so force is very, very, very important that we understand uh, forces. Mathematically, what is force? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration. Force is equal to mass times acceleration will give you what? Force. So let's try this example. Example number one. A block of mass, a block of mass 20 kilogram moves with an acceleration of 3 meter per second square when a force is applied. Okay, when a force F is applied, find the applied force. Find the applied force. So, with well, this example, what is force? So we define force as mass times what? Acceleration. So this is our formula. Force is equal to mass times what? Acceleration. Once we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration, we go back to the question. Do we have mass? Yes, our mass is 20 kilogram. Do we have acceleration? Yes, what's acceleration? Three meters per second squared. So therefore, force is equal to 20 times 3, which is 60 Newton, 60 Newton. But note that the unit is in what? Kilogram per meter, kilogram meter per second squared is the same as Newton. One kilogram meter per second squared is equal to one Newton, is equal to one Newton. Example number two. Find the force applied on a body of mass 150 kilogram with an acceleration of 5 meter per second squared. Find the force applied on a body of mass 150 kilogram moving with an acceleration of 5 meter per second squared. So in this example, okay, with this example, you know your force, you know your acceleration, so you can find the acceleration, okay? So work out that one also for yourself. We go to the next example. This example, a 40 Newton resultant force causes a block to accelerate at five meter per second squared. What is the mass? A 14 Newton resultant force causes a block to accelerate at 5 meter per second squared. What is the mass? Now we know that mathematically force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we do a bit of change of subject and we make M the subject, the mass the subject. So in making the mass the subject, we have force is equal to for, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we make m the subject. 
So m is equal to force over acceleration. And when you do the mathematics, we are going to find m as 8 kilogram. m is giving us 8 kilogram. 8 kilogram. Now we go to energy. Energy. What is energy? Energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. Energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. Without energy, it is very difficult to do a certain word, work. So when you go and buy food, what you are buying is the chemical energy in the food. You are buying the carbohydrate, you are, you are buying the amino acid, you are buying the chemical energy, the carbon, the hydrogen, the oxygen. Okay, so the body will, will make use of the chemical energy converted through uh, the through metabolism, okay, then convert it into useful form that we can walk, we can move, we can read, we can do other things because of the chemical energy in the food. So we have different forms of energy. We have the chemical energy, uh, like uh, the battery, the dry cell, there's a chemical, the electrolyte, the chemical energy. We have the heat energy. We have mechanical energy. We have electrical energy, the flow of electric charges. All right, we're able to ion due to electrical energy we have light energy okay we are able to have light at our various home at night it's light energy we have sound energy due to the vibration vibration okay whenever there's vibration sound is produced all right so we have sound energy we can even use sound energy to 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 do a lot of things okay to do a lot of things so energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. So without energy, it's very difficult to do work. And the unit for energy is joules. Is joules. The SI unit for energy is joules. Now we go to, we need to understand work. Okay, we need to understand work because the energy okay it's used to do a certain work so the food you eat must give you energy to do a certain work all right so if you are eating and you are not doing work energy will be stored in you so that you see that you'll be growing fat because energy is being stored but you need to use the energy to do a certain word work what is work Work is said to be done when a body is moved, okay? When it's said to be done, when a force is applied on a body and that force is able to move the body in the direction of the force, a certain work has been done, okay? So work is said to be done when a point of application of a force moves in the direction of the force moves in the direction of the force so in work done there should always be distance covered there should always be distance covered so in the demonstration okay we see that in the demonstration we see that a young lady want to carry a block all right now she's applying a certain force f now she has been able to move the block from this point to this point so you can say that a certain work has been done a certain work has been done because a certain distance has been what covered all right now you can go and push a wall once the wall doesn't move you've done no work it's cost 90 because when it comes to work, distance must be covered. A certain distance must be covered. So you are pushing the wall, you are moving the block, you are moving the wall, and the wall don't move, doesn't cover any distance. No work has been done. So cost 90 work, zero work done. 
okay so when it come to work there should be a certain when you, when, you, when you apply a force on this okay this this should be able to move i should be able to move it then i've done what a certain work okay so a patient comes to the hospital and you have to transfer the patient from one bed to another the patient is incapable of moving immobilized so two nurses hey, you move the patient the patient have been moved from one point to a certain point so a certain work has been done on the patient so what is work done mathematically work done is equal to force times distance force times distance is work done and i said earlier on that the si unit for work done is joe's the si unit for work done is joe's the si unit for work done is joe's all right now let's solve one example how much work is done when a body of 10 newton is lifted through a vertical of two meters so a body of weight 10 newton so you are lifting it through a vertical distance of two meters all right so we quote our formula or we write our formula work done is equal to force times distance so now you go back to the question and you pick your data what do you know you know the force which is 10 newton what do you know again we're giving the distance which is two meters so our work done is equal to force times distance which is 10 newton times two meters and that was going to give us 20 newton meter or 20 joules 20 newton meter or 20 joules so you see that this man is busy pushing the wall hmm? he's busy pushing the wall and the wall too is smiling at the man the wall is not moving what does it mean it means that work has not been done once this wall don't move but it's still applying a force no work has been what has been done but if the wall moves from this point to this point hmm, now you can see that a certain work has been done okay what about this situation is any work done no work has been done okay the, the this is let's say amina amina is carrying uh let's say medicine okay amina is carrying medicine she's moving all right she's carrying the medicine the plate in her in her hands and moving no work is being done on the on the medicine the plate no work is being done okay she's just moving but if she picks it from this point to this point then you can say a certain work has been done okay so this is an assignment okay this is an assignment so i will i will upload it on the on the platform then you do the assignment now what is power power is the rate at which work is done power is the rate at which work is done mathematically power is equal to work done over time work done over time and the unit is joules per second joules per second or what joules per second or what or what joules per second or what that is the unit for work done joules per second or what joules per second or what so this man is moving a block of 12 newton and is covering a distance of five meters within 30 seconds so you can calculate the work done of this man you can calculate the work done of this man okay so this will bring us to the end of lesson one okay this will bring us to the end of lesson one this will bring us to the end of lesson one lesson two we're going to continue with simple machines